first of all uh, i'll 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 better uh, first i talk about uh, how we can uh, download and install the package the package i will talk about mostly yesterday i will i talked about matplotlib and we showed uh, lots of various kinds of plots 2d and 3d today i will talk about a special application of matplotlib package and that is map plotting which will be quite uh, useful for geographer friends and then i will partly talk about a little bit of uh, image processing both are uh, special applications of matplotlib package and uh, in both cases i will uh, take you up to the doorstep of the two things i will leave you there then you will explore all the things uh, and uh, for the first part i will type on the uh, jupyter notebook and for the second part uh they i have already typed so that it won't take much time so that our next speaker can join in time well uh so you see navigator uh anaconda navigator you go through jupiter i went to jupiter notebook here okay and uh, here it is okay one thing one thing let me let me talk about one thing uh okay what is this okay uh, yeah uh obhijit uh, can you uh, please hide the hide hide the can you please hide the what, notification what the sharing notification that's there on your screen okay 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 the, the, the bottom, bottom one. that's the, the bottom one yeah click yeah, on yeah. the I'll... click on the hide right and, uh, right 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 it's right. going to obscure a bit of the okay okay as first i uh, okay first i show this uh, okay uh, uh, let me let me first change this uh, okay this hide i did it once but it didn't listen okay uh, i think it's okay now okay first of all uh, the first thing i'll talk about uh, the package which is uh, called base map so base map is uh, something that is based on matplotlib package and it does map plotting and later on we can do a lot of data plotting on the maps and so on that are uh, useful for geographical presentations etc etc so uh, if you are using anaconda navigator in some of your versions you can go to environment you can go to install here and you can go to check not installed and in my earlier versions it was showing this map here and you just click here and then apply that would was easy but in the new version i have just downloaded two days back it is not there that means i have to go to i have to go to uh, anaconda anaconda prompt i have to go to anaconda prompt and there i have to type conda install this map etc etc you google search and you can can find out that's it that's what uh, that is i wanted to say and uh, now i will present well uh mm, okay let me you are presenting okay it failed let me check here uh yes let me open let me open a new python 3 jupyter notebook okay so uh i am now okay 150 percent okay so i begin so your uh, the package name is base map so you also with it along with this you uh, this is based on matplotlib of course so you need to import certain things for example <clears throat> you know that already numpy package is very very useful and we all everything we will do based on numpy arrays so we just import numpy as np as usual then we write import mat.lib.pyplot as plt and then this is also important and then i write from mpl toolkits 
school kids dot base map base map sits here import remember this this is capital b a s c m a p this is capital base map okay so this is uh what you have to do and you run so the uh, uh mpl uh mpl underscore tool the spelling is wrong this map oh i'm sorry sorry i'm good at it and in spelling mistake <laughs> okay okay oh good since now it's okay okay now now we uh, begin uh, so we write uh, uh, we write a figure we will uh, dot plot a figure plt dot f i g u r e and we can write fix size certain we can give it all the canvas we are making ready and then vijay the can you increase your volume level volume level okay can you increase your volume level now okay i am using the other microphone okay now now okay now okay hello yes uh, now uh, okay i think uh, i think that that means i have to increase more or something i don't <laughs> let's see it's difficult to understand from these things no it's okay it's okay now it's okay it's okay okay um well so we prepared the figure and then of course i will plot the figure in a separate uh, window so i will write here uh, percentage i'm sorry percentage mat plot leak if i would write percentage matplotlib then in line then it would plot here itself in the in the next shell but i will uh, intentionally plot outside okay so now i have to call the base map capital b base map that is the function and inside that uh, people in geography know it very well uh, that for the whole entire earth uh it's a three dimensional it's a sp uh, spherical kind of object so you have to actually uh project this you have to actually project this in a uh, in in certain ways there are there are standard some around 30 25 to 30 projection styles so i will just i, I won't tell what it is i mean how we, what is what i don't uh, i mean i won't tell so the only if geographers are here can comment later i'll just show you how you do so i'll use some projection if you go to base map you will see there are various kinds of projections available so projection is a keyword argument projection equal to mill mill is your famous miller projection okay and then i have to put uh, the i have to select the canvas so the, the another two important things is that uh, are that la longitude and latitude so the canvas i will make i will go from the leftmost corner and go to the right uh, top right corner these two at these two points i have to talk about, i have to fix the latitude and longitude uh, people who are new in this things latitude longitude kind of thing young people particularly you should uh, understand that if you take a graph paper so for example you go uh, up down that is the latitude and you go right left that is longitude but it comes through angles you can figure out how it comes through dimensional geometry but uh, at each point on the earth every point there is this xy coordinate along you go right left east to west that is your longitude go up down that is your y axis kind of thing that is your latitude so you uh, fix every point with xy or longitude latitude well so i will fix l l c r n r lower left l l is lower left c r n r corner lower left corner lat so that is equal to say for example like fix minus 10 and then u r c r n r 
let this is upper ur is upper and cr nr is always corner and then latitude let so that is equal to say for example 40 then i will fix ll cr nr uh, ln so that is equal to 10 then ur cr nr ln longitude that is equal to 120 and uh, you can also fix the resolution so resolution uh, is uh, first to talk about we fixed c c for crude there are a few kinds of a few different uh, types of resolutions available so uh, so so uh, one is c c for crude and uh, uh, i for intermediate and uh, h for highest uh, so I will use C because it will take uh, less data and it less time. Okay. Okay. So this is, I think it is closed. So let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let's see whether bracket is closed. Yeah. Bracket is closed. Okay. Okay. So uh, this is done. So I and just, I will have to refer this again and again. So I call it some say M, M for map. Okay. Okay. Now check it once okay done okay enter it comes to next lines and then then i draw m dot then i use another function draw cost cost lines and this is a function I, at the moment i don't put any anything inside okay and also i can write m dot draw map boundary map boundary also i can fix and I can put say color equal to red. So it looks good. So this is what it is. Now I run it. So it is done. Where it is done? It is done probably back, back of this. Well, so this is your map. Can you see that? So this is your map. So this is your, these all uh, the black lines and these all are coastlines. Inside nothing is drawn. And the map, map boundary is red. So this is your first uh, to begin with. Okay. So this is uh, the first thing. Next. Next, I can copy this because I will actually type again and again the kind of similar thing. I just copy this. I plot, uh, paste it here, and I can I can keep the uh, this lo uh, longitude latitude all are the same, and uh, here. I can write say uh, fill continents, okay? M dot another thing, fill continents, okay? Fill continent, and inside that I can write some color, color equal to say orange, orange say for example, and then I can uh, also talk of lakes. If there is lakes, it will also uh, do the thing. Lake uh, lake is blue. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. And uh, then uh, I'll also draw countries. See, uh, also M dot draw countries. I can write uh, say say line with oh, 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 oh. equal to two. So let's see, run. Okay, so here it is. So here is one lake, one lake, etc., etc., and the countries, then with the coastlines and etc. So you get to see, you can do it yourself and can check all those things. We can copy these again. This way I can go faster. I can copy these. Yeah and uh, paste so next is say for example okay no, no, okay let, let it keep it right. and uh, let me call it uh, take it from say some other direction it's 0 to 80 other regions okay 0 to 80 i fix and then i can talk uh, think of say change the longitude minus 160 just to look at the other regions 
minus 160 and then say minus 20 okay it goes from minus 180 to you know it that longitude goes from minus uh, 180 to plus 180 and this goes from 90 to 90 180 to 180 okay and the resolution is uh, say you can call it resolution say i for example i is intermediate it will be better it will be better okay so now uh, fill continents so coastlines i just remove this coastlines okay fill continents i color say change the color green and lake color blue draw countries okay and uh, don't keep anything normal line otherwise it's thicker and the i can also draw strips draw draw strips and uh, okay and uh, map boundary is not always required okay okay let's see what happens Obeda, before you uh, actually show this uh-huh uh, could you just go back to the code and yeah go back to the code here the code and can show you, the entire say the base map line is too long so could you just show the whole bit okay and could you just repeat what llcrnr stands yes, for yes yes, yes 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 sure show sure. a left corner yes. and so on so 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 that's so, here so, so, yeah. yeah this is very fundamental see this this i have i have to repeat again and again and again so uh, i can increase a increase the size right? so, say, uh, let me let me let me increase the size yeah okay so the base map is the uh, basic function which i will prepare the map uh, entire region uh, basically it will it will it, inside it you have the projection and i will talk about only one kind of projections you can talk about you can just experiment with all kinds of 30 different kinds of projections in geography cylindrical positions miller projections etc there are many very many kinds of things so I will talk about only Miller projection. It looks nice. So projection you can uh, fix. Then L L C R N R L A T. This keyword is basically L L is lower left. Basically you are preparing the canvas where you will draw the map. So L L is lower left, lower left corner. Uh, C R N R is corner, and L A T is latitude. So I think I take it zero. Then you see U R C R N R L A T. Uh, upper, U R is upper, C R N R is corner, L A T is latitude, and it is 80. I disturb you a minute. There's uh -huh. a left hand side, right hand side, there's a black portion of the screen where the faces are being seen. I mean, okay. I, 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 I just remove that. Then I your did. screen. No, I removed that in from my no, thing. No. Let me check. I, oh, no, brother, he did. It's your, I, your setup. It's I did. I did. I did. Okay. Okay. You change okay. your setup. Okay. Okay. You to change, to lay, uh, change the layout, layout, I think. Okay. I'll change the layout to spotlight. Yeah. Uh, okay. What, did, what, what I was doing? Uh, uh, that I think should be true for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, U R C R N R, uh, upper corner C R N R is corner, and L A T is latitude. So lower left corner latitude, upper left left uh, upper, upper upper right, right upper, upper right. right corner latitude, mm -hmm. and L L C R N R. Of course, you can understand lower left corner longitude. Well, and U R C R N R long means upper right corner longitude. So these four keywords are very important. Uh, so you can uh, you can actually uh, remember these four things. That's it. It will prepare your canvas. And the last part is resolution. I said the resolution of the map is I. I means intermediate. Earlier I used C. Earlier I used here I used resolution was C. C means uh, crude. C was crude and here c is crude and here i took intermediate that means i want a better resolution and then there is h for uh, high so you can all those things you you can see you can type the this map and you can check uh, inside what it what it takes okay okay 
So actually, you can take the type help as usual because it is nothing but a Python package. So for every Python package, the rule is rule of the game is the same. You moment you do not uh, you are confused or you do not understand what it is, you just type it, type help or first type directory for the whole package or module and then particular for to check particular function you type help and inside that you write uh, the name for example the function is uh, it starts with capital b base map okay so this is the most fundamental uh, function so inside that you all you have to write is that projection you have to declare and the uh, four coordinates up lower left two coordinates latitude longitude means xy and the upper uh, uh, right latitude longitude means xy kind of thing and the resolution that's it and then there are other uh, the names uh, of the functions which, which from the name you can understand what it does so m dot fill countries so uh, continents so it will uh, fill the continents with the color okay so color is green lake color is blue etc etc then draw boundaries and then draw states etc etc and that's it if you now run this you you get, will get back because it is see it took certain time because since the the data is here the intermediate the plot is intermediate that means it is taking lots of data from the store so you see the uh, america uh, usa north america and the lakes some of the lakes you can easily identify and the states uh, obviously i try to see it for india but indian states they, they do not recognize because these are these are not states in quote unquote American, uh, the United States, so they call it states. So the all these square geometry, etc. You see the all these states in America, and etc. etc. So now uh, you can do a lot more things. So this is the game. Nothing uh, more than not not nothing much more than this. Okay. Now you can also add various interesting things like m dot e topo e topo. Topo, and this is also a function. Topo means topology, so it will show you the topology, right? Right. So let's see. It will take little time because it is intermediate. Uh, it is coming. Ah, yeah. So it is the topology, uh, topological form. So you can see the all uh, close to three-dimensional structure. Uh, so this is it. So this is uh, basically how what you do. Uh, you can also check help. E topo, e topo. You can m dot e topo. You have to check because this is under base map. So you, if you do that, uh, it will show you this. All these things. It will show you uh, what it is. What it, does it mean, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay. You can read that. Is at the moment it's not necessary and you can proceed okay again I'll, I'll copy this i'll copy this again full thing so that i don't have to type again paste it so click 12 10 so mil in uh, so 0 80 i i keep it then minus 160 minus 20 and the resolution i keep it i Okay, I add some more things. Suppose uh, I um, uh, write, keep this, I remove this, draw countries, I remove, draw states, I remove, draw uh, etopo, I remove, remove. So I add another, uh, I, I keep m dot fill continents and I add another thing, m dot draw reverse. I will add the reverse. Okay, okay, let's see it will fetch all the rivers all the possible rivers you see yeah see the place is so dense we can actually enlarge this and uh, i think zoom it i think we can zoom it right i think we can zoom it in manually so you can see the all the all the rivers information so it's a, it's, a, it's it will be kind of very much uh, kind of uh, uh, useful for the geographers uh, we feel this have nothing to do with this but it is uh, fun to see all those things okay so you can see the rivers etc etc you can 
uh, if you if you give your resolution uh, say h it will show even more detail and you see the all kind of fractal structures of the coastlines also very good so you can uh, explore yourself you can draw a uh, map and you can interact with it and uh, you can just uh, check what is there you can also write uh, help under this you can uh, you can also check what is base map because we have so far used you can check what is there so lots of lots of things are, will be there uh, lots of things will be there uh, you can it's not uh, uh, you see here are all the descriptions let me tell you here are all the uh, projections cyl cylindrical equidistant then Mercator, et cetera, et cetera. This Miller cylindrical, I was using this Miller cylindrical uh, projection. So I use this Mill uh, kind of thing, name, et cetera. So there are probably all around 30 different kinds of projections. All kinds of necessary information you can see here as usual. So the documentation is always, always good. That's what probably we should be very satisfied with Python. So it gives you lots of uh, information at one uh, click. Well, um, I can I can reduce this and you can check this where it is. Oh yeah, yeah it is it is. Okay now I okay next next I will do some more thing. I'll do some more thing. Okay. Well, say. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll paste this again. And now I can write minus 10. I can write, I can check another direction. Minus 10. And then I can take 40. Then I can take, say, 10. You can imagine where I'm coming. If you are good at longitude, latitude, uh, these numbers, and then say it is 120. I go to the other region, other region. And of course, I give it C, so as to not to, uh, 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 I give it C, okay. uh, C, okay, so here. And then uh, you draw countries, you draw countries. Uh, fill continents, you can change the color a bit, yellow, you can pick, uh, you can use uh, the, your preferred color, yesterday I showed you, so fancy hex code colors, hex code references you get from the site and can put here, rather than this uh, kind of uh, trivial red, blue, green, etc, etc, you can use lots of uh, fancy colors. Of, of your choice anyway so it's yellow like color blue and the draw countries and the you can remove this draw states remove this and you can write m dot there is a function called blue marble m a r b l e so there's a function called blue marble let's see what it does it will be quicker yeah so the all the ocean it shows in blue marble so that's another another kind of presentation you can do whatever you want to do so here this now next i'll copy again i'll copy again copy again uh, paste and now i can check these zero say i can call it say zero and i call it say 50 and i can't get this space and then 50 say you can do it the way we want and then say 100 and see the 100 and the resolution is say resolution uh, keep it c c crude and uh, you can write fill continents Mm, then then you can write fill draw uh, draw countries draw say coastlines m dot draw uh, 
these lines, lines, and then you remove these, remove these continents, uh, countries, uh, countries, continents, uh, coastlines. Okay, and now I will do some more thing. I will actually try to uh, point certain uh, uh, some 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 uh, some space, some 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 city or some place on the map that you can do easily so you have to give this give just longitude and latitude so i give lawn and lat say equal to say 78.0 comma 29.76 can you quickly tell me what uh, of what place this latitude longitude can be i mean the geographers will be very quick to under, uh, tell me but uh, can you tell me any of you <laughs> uh, without seeing google map the what is this uh, latitude language of which place? Yeah, Kolkata. Uh, okay. Anyone else? You guessed it right. Uh, no, close. You are close, actually. <laughs> Any, <laughs> the, uh, okay. You can tell if you if you can without googling. You can if you can tell. So this very important place. X Y equal to. Say M. M is your base map, right? M is your base map. So you refer with M. So M inside that you write lawn and lat. That's it. And you now use plt dot plot. Now you use actually uh, like mat, uh, matplotlib. This pi, pi plot. You use plt dot plot. And inside that you write x y x y. So now you actually plot. Where you will plot, you will plot on the map itself. Okay. And you can plot with G for green, O for uh, gulla, I means bullet. Okay. And you can think of write marker, size, all these uh, matplotlib commands you learned yesterday, say 18, etc. So now you do that, you do that, and you run this. Let's see. Ah. It is actually Delhi. <laughs> it is, uh, you guessed it right, someone said. Um, it is in India, of course. The lat overall latitude, longitude uh, can tell us. So it is actually Delhi. It is too big for, I mean, this covers these things. You can in decrease it, the size. That, does, that is, this is for demo only. So suppose I want to uh, plot another uh, uh, place nearby, say New Delhi or some other Gurgaon or something like that. If I know the latitude longitude, so suppose I can put uh, lawn one and lat one, and then I can put say just a little bit. This is arbitrary. I didn't I didn't know twenty nine point one. Okay, and then now if I can prepare another set of coordinates x one and y one equal to say m of lawn one and uh, and let one and now you do this uh, and uh, here I put x1 and y1 and say say red and gulla and the this marker size is this so suppose you have to uh, plot two cities close by let's see how it does it does yeah Two, two cities are, uh, I mean, on top of right the two uh, round things. You can decrease the size, but still one is on top of the other. So one trick you can, uh, if you know how the colors are manipulated, you can put another some uh, parameter here, another keyword, which is called alpha. Alpha is actually the opacity. I mean, the uh, the how opaque it is or how transparent it is. The value of alpha will tell. Here, the alpha value of alpha will be, you can uh, uh, control between 0 and 1. You can give, say, 0 0.7 or something. And you check. It will be, it will be obviously less uh, opaque. I mean, it's, it's more transparent. So that you can see the two circles, they uh, actually overlap, but uh, you can see the boundaries. So this way, you can actually decorate your uh, uh, map. You can, once you have the map of a particular format, but where you want to show something, and then you want to 
place the uh, you can to put the names of the places etc etc the point out the places etc and then there are a major tasks is always th is, is there i won't do that today now because i also uh, am kind of learning that thing that is a little, little more difficult task but i will once i learn i can tell you later that is how you actually uh, uh, plot data on this uh, on this this, uh, this is called shape file is there i'll figure out today how it is it can be done and then it will be uh, i mean complete the the learning will be more complete okay so this is uh, something uh, at the moment you can do i think you can figure out uh, the, all these things once you go to the base map there, there is a fantastic uh, kind of uh, the the OS. you go to the base map site you google search and uh, write base map go to the site and see there are the lots of documentations are there tutorials tutorials also are there so this is uh, basically very basic thing you can also uh, last uh, but the not the least i will plot an, one more thing and uh, let me check this and i'll finish this okay and uh, let's see i'll plot this so this is a 1010 for example 1010 and this is instead of miller i take another ortho ortho this is the orthogonal projection and the latitude longitude you don't have to give because ortho will uh, show you the uh, three dimensional thing and the i can put resolution equal to none you can give resolution also and it will automatically choose whatever it is okay and i can now give uh, let by default zero equal to 50 just and long zero equal to 100 okay so uh, only this and nothing else you don't have to because it is not a, a 2d plot it won't be 2d plot and you don't need this you don't need this you only oh ho, uh, best best map is prepared and only thing you know the uh, see is that m dot uh, kind of how what kind of thing it will be marble marble and you can also in in there you can also set a skill you go there and check what the skills does that's it uh it is easy to figure out what is what and run let's see mm, yeah so this is so this is the blue marble kind of thing uh that you saw earlier and this huh I can see different dents, the different uh, gradation of blue there. So it must be some sort of pseudo yes, color, right? Yes. yes. So I think uh, I have, it is by default. Blue. I have not. I have not done anything. It is blue marble inside the blue marble. I guess that is there. I have not explored much, but we can explore later on. Okay. I have not. I have not. Uh, I mean, it's the depth, right? This 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 tells you the depth of the the blue is the depth, right? The color of the blue. That is automatically done actually i mean uh, inside the blue marble i can go and check what is there i have not checked the manual of itself um, when i will actually do uh, lots of things on this then i can our friends can check any more comment i think the my map projection is uh, i mean over uh, I, th there is nothing much to tell only thing is that you just take all only is this, this few ingredients all countries all the uh, the the uh, coastlines the rivers the lakes etc etc all this you can play around with this colors and etc etc so basically uh, the the base map uh, function is responsible for what it is base map function is uh, uh, that is that is actually creating the canvas huh. obijit can this map projection method be used to study mm -hmm. the transport of any molecule inside a preferred uh, structure? Mm, I don't think so, no. I don't know. I don't <laughs> Transport of a molecule? Why? On map? Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Map. 
No, no, map projection method. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think it can be because I understand what you mean actually. No, uh, it is actually yeah. specialized for uh, this map project, ma map thing. Yeah, but MCAL 2 has ways of doing that. Is there just not this one? Not this one. This is uh, specialized for this map, uh, these things, or with geospatial data and uh, nothing else okay. okay and of course the drawing is of course you can understand drawing is by matplotlib so matplotlib is a fundamental mm -hmm. package that does everything base mm -hmm. map is actually preparing the canvas and things like that it is uh, getting the data for you arranging the data and the plotting mm -hmm. and everything can be done by colors all these things can be done by matplotlib so matplotlib is the fundamental package i must iterate for uh, plotting and based on this, I told yesterday that there are other PyLabs, then Seaborn and other packages you can check. You can always install them and uh, check in them. So this is the end of this map thing. I will just a little bit show about uh, image processing that I learned uh, by yesterday and today. I can uh, still uh, talk about this and I can then finish and take, give it to Urnavada. Uh, is that is there any other question uh, that I cannot answer here? Uh, can you can one ask uh, our geographer friends also? Of course, I don't know much more than this. <laughs> our geographer friends can actually explore the, these things. I can actually tell you how to uh, how to download and install this map, but because uh, like other packages, it, it, it is not always very easy on uh, sometimes in my earlier version and other uh, machine uh, the i just straight away uh, down uh, installed my anaconda and over it i just went to environment i just went to environment and i just i just checked not install thing and i just saw base map here i just give click 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 and then applied and then it was done it didn't take uh, give any trouble but for this new version I saw that that is not here. So what I had to do is that I have had to go to the uh, you know the anaconda. I have to go to these 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 anaconda. I'll tell you again anaconda prompt. It will come, and here I have to write conda, and then uh, something I install this map or some something is there. I forget the thing not really conda install uh, base map it is something else also okay so you check with uh, your google so that way it will be installed and it will be installed under mpl toolkits in matplotlib okay so then you can uh, go on uh, install uh, working on this okay so this is the end of matplotlib story i will quickly go to the image processing story and i will give a hand over to orunabodha uh, Okay, so I close this.